So let's talk about the third main component which is payload. In simple terms, the payload is the body of the header. The payload of an API refers to actual data being sent within the body of an HTTP request or response. It contains the information that sender wants to transmit to the server or vice versa. Now let's consider this example. Now you can see the line of code is here. Here is a breakdown of each key value pair in the payload array. The first one is model. This line set the model key in the payload array to the value stored in the model variable. The model variable likely contain the name or identifier of the language model that you want to use for generating text. The second component is prompt. This line set the prompt key in the payload array to the value stored in the content variable. The content variable likely contain the text prompt or starting point for the text generation process. This is the input provided to the API which it will use as the basis for generating the desirable output. Now the third component is max token to sample. This line set the max token to sample key in the payload array to the value 100. This parameter specify the maximum number of tokens word of characters that the API should generate in the completion. In this case, the API will generate text within a maximum length of 100 tokens. The fourth main component of payload is temperature. This line set the temperature key in the payload array to the value 1. The temperature parameter controls the randomness of the generated text. It can be set between 0 and 2. Lower temperature result in more lower temperatures result in more dramatic outputs while higher temperature introduce more randomness here the temperature of 1 is a neutral setting here's the temperature of 1 is a neutral setting balancing predictability and creativity in the generated text